Spider-Man 2099 from Across the Spider-Verse. This is it's a good character and it's a great movie. It's so good. The Spider-Verse people have got something. We're making these. They've got something going on in these movies. Can't wait for the next one. So, landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So, I think it's easiest maybe to start with the shape for the head on this guy, right? So he's got real angled sort of features, right? So the chin is this square shape here, right? And the top of the head is square as well, but just longer, right? So you just mark this out up here, right? Okay, so this is the kind of your guidelines just to sort of get everything right, right? So then our jaw comes out here, very sharp sort of jaw, and then it goes up around towards the top of the head up here then. And down that side, right? So that is the type of shape we're dealing with. So the eyes come in from here, right? So we've got these kind of spikes on the side of his head. And they're kind of drawn in a bit rough, but we'll do one there. And then this comes diagonal towards where his nose would be. And then it comes to a point in the middle. And then it goes back up down down like so in cross right so you're looking for that sort of spider-man shape but it's lots of <clears throat> sort of angles that's it's kind of the shape of the original spider-man eye but just not like curved in there and then this comes down to a spike close to his mouth back up down and this will go right off the side of his head. So there. And then we're going to do this on this side. So same sort of thing again. We've got this spike coming in here. Back. Down. You're just sort of copying the other side. Into there. And then that sort of Spider-Man angled shape, like so. Doesn't close off. And then it comes down to a spike towards his mouth. Back up and around to the side of his head. All right. And then his face is like all blue and textured. And they have all these colors, cool sort of colors, right? So you don't really have to do much. So... He's a big muscly guy, right? So we've got like a big neck muscle here and here, right? I'll do the anatomy first and then we'll do all the red sections. So big trapezius muscles. Boom, right, and another one there. Neck muscle inside here, here, and then there, and there. So the center line for his chest just comes down this way. And then you could do the top of the chest muscle. Now these are normally drawn in with just light sort of lines, you know, like so. All right, and then you'll eventually meet shoulder sort of muscles here. So his chest and shoulder, so shoulder, let's say, we'll do a big shoulder muscle here, right? And it's kind of that red section as well. But we'll just go with the muscle first, right? So shoulder muscles are kind of like love heart shapes. You know what I mean? So like, this would be like a love heart, so there. And then on this side, you do the same thing. Kind of like a love heart, doesn't have to be exactly a love heart.
right? So this is like his shoulders. And then his chest muscles come down in here, right? They, they don't go the whole way across. They just sort of, on this side, you can see it, this side's different. You can see bicep, but I'll make them the same, will I? Let's see. And we'll go bicep here. Right, and then the chest muscle will come across here. Right, and then tricep, big arm goes down that way, and then forearm on that side, and then like bicep here. And then on this side, tricep out there, bicep goes down. down that way and then he gets real narrow right so we got bodybuilder physique right so he gets real sort of narrow waist comes down this way like that and we can see some of his forearm there okay so that's the anatomy now he's got all these red stripes all over his body, right? So, where to begin? We'll go with the skull in the middle, right? So it's got this like diamond shape here. Right, and then a smaller one at the bottom, okay? So this is the the spider, but it's it looks like like skull sort of eyes basically, right? So we go in here with this sort of skull eye. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. They're not the same on both sides. They're all they're different in every sort of scene in the movie. So you know, in in Into the Spider Verse, the characters sort of change and stuff they're kind of drawn very kind of artistically so you know it's not like a set way of drawing them and then his nose is like here like that so then we have eight legs but they kind of join the shoulder so and there's like a head here right, like so and then one, two, one, two legs, right? So smaller at first. Gradually get bigger. These will go down off my page. These just come to big spikes down the end if you have more room. And then the next set come up around to his shoulders and then one more sort of floating set here, right? So this one comes down this way. See like that one's even different on this side. Right, and then we go up this way, around to there. And then this goes right across his shoulder. And then it comes up his trapezius down to a hook and around the back of his neck. So that's all red in there. And then the red comes down his arm here and then back. So that's kind of a bit tricky to comprehend. It When it's red, you know, you'd be able to see it a bit more clearly. But this whole section is all red here. And then we've one more floating leg on its own in between. Right, so I'll do the floating leg first on this side. Like that, and then you do that shoulder part, so it comes up this way. So there, and then comes across the shoulder. And up the trapezius, hooks down, back behind the neck. 
and it's all red here and red here boom and that's blue and so he does have those spikes on his arm so they're not in the picture i'm drawing from but i might want to add them because you should kind of see them they're so big sometimes they're extended and sometimes they're not so i think i'll add them so from here so we go we'll just do we'll just do one we can say we can just see one right and it goes like up to the height of his shoulder out from his forearm like all the way down here and then down they're like swords one there we'll do the other one coming out from say so it should be like behind his arm let's go from it's like in line with this maybe a bit higher than his shoulder here because he's walking Boom. and that's it spider-man 2099 i have a harder one than this where he's in like a pose and he's swinging and everything but i thought i'd do a straightforward one hope it was helpful thanks for watching see the movie it's really good see you in the next one bye